Right, welcome back to the special Christmas edition of Amped. Uh, what makes it special? The tinsel, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm joined on the sofa by the undivided, who ironically are divided. There's two missing, aren't there? Yes, there are <laughs> two missing right now, so. Uh, but yeah, could you introduce yourselves to the boys, girls, and pets at home? Uh, my name is Ridian and I play the drums. I'm Lewis, I play guitar. Uh, and who are we missing? Uh, we're missing Joe, um, our singer. He's led up in bed. Yeah. So he's, all, he's poorly. He's got poorly singleitis. Ah, OK, <laughs> OK. Uh, but yeah, good to have you on the show. Uh, I'd heard a bit about you from Emma Scott, who's been looking after you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's been helping you with a bit of PR. Uh, but yeah, you're from Wales, South Wales. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we had a band called The Dirty Youth on, I think, two weeks ago we were yeah, from Wales. Yeah, I saw they posted up about it. Yeah. It's all mates. It's yeah. always been quite a musical place, Wales. Lots of bands come out of there over the years. Um, you know, uh, how did you guys get together? Anyway, tell us about the band. Uh, well, you've got two career options in Wales. You can either get singing or you can work at the pot noodle mine. And <laughs> yeah. And none of us like it underground, so. <laughs> no. Um, me and Joe basically go back musically quite a long way. Um, we went to school together. Yeah. Um, we were both in bands at the time and he, he went off to London for a couple of years, did a band, was kind of getting places with it. When it kind of came to an end, came back and I was in the same position. Um, we just started jamming together and it's just kind of gone on from there really. And we got rid from a- uh, The internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to university in Southampton, but didn't really agree with universities a bit. Yeah. yeah, lack of a better word, which is why not. But you are a drummer, let's face it. Yeah, so it, I came yeah. back, so I was like <laughs> looking for a band and found these guys, so and six uh, years later. And, uh, you know, what kind of influences, what got you playing? You know, what made you want to make music with the undivided? What kind of stuff? I've absolutely no idea why me and Joe thought it would be a good idea to get a band together, because we are from completely different places. Poles mostly. apart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Joe... When we when we got back together, Joe was like really into his kind of nineties alternative like placebo, Max Street Preachers. Yeah. And I was coming and listening to bands like Sixth and kind of Metallica and it, it somehow it kinda of works. Yeah. Um I, it's, it's the sound's really changed up a lot since we started kind of playing together. It was kind of sort of a bit of a funeral for friend rip off when we first started. Yeah. I think we've kind of pushed it now and we've all brought our own different influences in. Find a way to pull our own styles into this mixture which kind of works and makes it a bit more original because mm -hmm. obviously it's not directed in any particular way, it's condensed into something which is a mixture of like, like I like quite heavy stuff so I'll probably play a bit heavier than Joe likes his melody so you've got heavier melody. Yeah, yeah. And Luce plays in like ridiculously low tuning which people think, well, that's metal, but no, it doesn't have to be. It just gives it a nice Dirty low end. kind of low, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I can see what you mean, really, like listening to your stuff. There, there is melody and, you know, structures, nice structures to the songs. Uh, but like you said, there's nods to the heaviness in there. We're going to watch a track uh, in a little while. Uh, so, yeah, how have things been going generally? Have you got out much? Uh, do you play a lot in Wales? Uh, you know, we find with bands, it can be a mixture, really. A lot of bands... Um, are playing their hometowns and surrounding areas, but they're really desperate to get out either to Europe or you know around the country a bit more. What have you, what have you guys been up to? Well, we, we've always made it a point to try and well probably get to London as much as we can because yeah. like loads that that is the centre of the industry in the country. Of course, country. yeah, yeah. But, and obviously, you want to build in Cardiff. So when people in London go, well, what do you do? Well, we've got this sort of following here. But then we've also uh, last well this year, as it is, or last year as it will be, uh, we managed to get to Canada uh -huh. last May for Canadian Music Week. Right. And they seem to have liked us because we're going out again next Excellent. year. Excellent. So Excellent. That's a nice one. I've been to Canada once because uh, my sister used to live there, but uh, yeah, really nice people, aren't they? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, like everyone, everyone makes jokes about how friendly they are, yeah. but they really are, <laughs> yeah. and it's nice. It's just a completely different scene out there, though. There's still this kind of culture of you go out and just see what bands are on. You don't go out to see someone specifically. It's just turn yeah. up at the bar, oh, there's a band playing, we'll stay and watch People are just out, mm. like, you know. And I've always said it to bands, there's, 
it's 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 different playing to people in your hometown who maybe know you or have seen you. They'll give you a certain amount of support. But it's really good going to a different country because people will just judge you on the music, mm -hmm. whether they like it or not. And and you know, as a band rather than friends, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you've had some good support from Canada so far. Maybe yeah, that's yeah. going to be the uh, the place. You know, maybe. That's maybe. <laughs> I mean, we thought apparently the single is out there now, so apparently it's doing quite well, which is nice. I haven't got any official figures back, but just the fact that they're accepting it yeah. is good. And they must like us to have us back again. So, um, And uh, releases-wise, uh, music, um, album? Have you got an album, or is it just we an EP at the moment? We did an album, well, it was a while ago now, I suppose. Um, we've been kind of just working on a follow-up to that now. Yeah. Um, we released the new track, Invincible, um, um, a month or two ago, I suppose that now, we put yeah. the video out, um, and we've just been kind of quietly building up new stuff to do uh, a bit of a release next year. So hopefully, we're going to release a new EP, quite a, hopefully quite a big EP next year. Uh, early next year and take that over to Canada yeah. with us. And, I mean, you can yeah. do anything you want now. You can release one track, stick yeah. it on Spotify, yeah. do a video for it. It doesn't have to be an album format anymore. Well, um, because we, we kind of grew up with albums, I think there's still something to be said about the album format. Yeah. I, I, I love the fact you can just slam a single out there and just go check this out, but... It's nice I, to tell a story. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. We, we, we kind of had arguments over this, you know, like, oh, we could just do this, it'll be cheap to just put a song out and then we'll do another song in a few months. It's like, well, what are we trying to say here is, as a thing? Well, I like the ebb and flow of an album. Yeah, you know, yeah. you can get, have like heavier tracks, something a bit yeah. different, you know. We get a lot of bands now that just want to write an album that's just single, 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 single. Yeah. It's like, you kind of need some of like the slower tracks and there are the bigger tracks. The album tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I so you're working on it, you're working yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've done the uh, second song, which is going to be the second single for it. So we're just waiting to get that back, and all, that should be out sometime in February or something. And then the EP hopefully should follow. And uh, who did you work with uh, filming video-wise? Uh, we've got a good friend we've done videos with previously, um, Jeff Cockwell from Sil Silvertip Films. Right. Um, we did... I think two videos with him before we, we did a video for a song called Seven Hours. Yeah. Which absolutely blew us away what he managed to do for that. He basically said, right, here's a little bit of money. This is all we've got from yeah. our piggy banks. And he made a video about the end of the world from it. Yeah. yeah. So we were like, we'll use this guy. So again. creatively, he put his own little stamp on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a good director. And obviously, he'll take like the band's influence as well. And so he's not one of these people like, here's my treatment, work with it. No, he'll take but it's, yeah, it's really good. He really tries to tell a story with his videos, which is we try to like tell stories with our songs so it works perfectly. Mm. So those you know, performance videos are alright, but there's kind of all been done, you know, there's some guys in a dark room, there's some flashy lights. So we didn't want that. There's some songs it works but for Invincible it didn't. So we thought, well who do we know? And he's always got a story lined up, so yeah. We had we had a bit of a message we wanted to put out on this new song. We took it to him and he was like, I've got ideas on this straight away. And we made a really, really cool looking video, we think. Oh, well, we're going to see it now yeah. anyway. But uh, just nice to chat to you. Thanks for coming in. No worries. Uh, good luck in the new year as well. I suppose you've got a few plans. And, uh, well, it'd be silly not to, really. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, obviously, um, Amped is uh, finished now for 2015. Uh, but we are going to be back. Yes, I think we're back on the 6th of January. So thanks to all the people who've tuned into the show. Uh, have a great Christmas. Uh, thanks to the under divided and here's their video uh, for the track this is invincible on amped